welcome to this new video in which I'm going to share my uh, inspirational project which was created for the I'm Roses design team. I also want to let you know that I'm Roses uh, have a, a monthly anything goes challenge and um, there are some prizes for the uh, people who take part in the challenge. It's really easy to enter and uh, the prizes are fabulous so I just wanted you to know that uh, the random prize is uh, for fifty dollars and uh, you can you can buy uh, different flowers from I'm Roses for this amount of money um, and we also have three additional prizes for the winner of the challenge which is um, for thirty dollars and the second and third place also get prizes for $25 each. It's very easy to enter. We only want to see your creations with using minimum uh, two kinds of uh, I'm Roses flowers and the projects can be um, versatile. They can be cards uh, with a colored image. They can be cards without any colored image. There can be mini albums, canvases, um, different mixed media projects really whatever you prefer uh, so anyway this is what I wanted you to know and the project that I want to share was created following um, a tutorial from another crafter here on YouTube uh, I will post the link uh, to the tutorial down below um, the tutorial consisted of four parts and uh, the name of the channel uh, where I found it is uh, Chibi Chibi and Milo and the crafter is from Japan. I created this photofolio based on her tutorial and I used the uh, paper by Prima from the new collection Rose Quartz and the flowers as I already mentioned uh, were from I'm Roses. So um, this is how it looks from the side and I added this uh, elastic string closure although there also are magnets uh, here in between these two parts uh, which help to hold the folio closed um, and uh, keep it together so um, here I have a pocket with um, with two photo mats which can be used either for photos or for journaling then when you unfold this um, you have several um, pockets here on this side and in the pockets I've just uh, currently added um, several envelopes which I uh, created using um, dies. Uh, here is another one, another envelope, just a plain one using the paper from um, the Rose Quartz collection and this is another uh, photo mat, a large one uh, so this goes here and the envelope goes back here um, on this um, section we have um, several uh, pockets and on the pockets I also created the uh, flaps for um, the pictures to put inside using these uh, photo corners so the clip here uh, holds uh, both of these together. So this is actually a pocket and inside a pocket there is a file folder for adding more uh, pictures to it. So the file folder goes back into the pocket. Um, there are two um, smaller uh, pocket pages. Uh, each of them also holds a photo mat um, which is suitable as far as I remember it is suitable for three and a half by five um, five inches uh, photo so it goes here and the second pocket also holds a photo mat the paper is really adorable although it's a bit dark and the color scheme is a bit dark um, I fussy cut several um, images here and uh, made um, a very simple collage out of them um, as well as here uh, on this pocket page uh, once again I have uh, several flaps for uh, placing 
additional photos and um, inside the bucket there is a, a large photo mat as well okay so um, at the bottom um, in the first section there is a side pocket with additional photo mat and uh, two um, tags or um, I don't know tickets which can be used for uh, journaling as well so this was the first section the second section is very interesting and I just adore how creative um, Marika was this is the name of the owner of the Chibi Chibi and Milo channel so she actually created the binding for these um, plastic pockets which are from October afternoon and I will post the um, link to the photo folders on Blitzy uh, if you want to purchase them as well for this project or maybe for another one so these are I have here five sheets and you can actually add inside the pockets um, either cutouts from uh, decorative um, from designer paper uh, sorry or you can also uh, print your pictures and um, of course of the corresponding size and place them inside the pockets um, this is what I plan to do I will have um, in several places uh, cutouts from the paper and in other places I plan to add um, the pictures which um, which I will need to print uh, still and uh, this section uh, has um, a pocket for um, well you could store here some additional pictures um, which did not fit any of the um, dedicated areas here in the folio and um, I decided to create a, just a tiny uh, notebook for um, you know for um, for different notes I plan to uh, give this folio as a present to my mom uh, she will be coming to visit uh, to visit us here in Singapore um, in a couple of months uh, so um, I will just give that folio to her and uh, she could place um, although it's not a travel themed uh, folio but still I really love the paper so she could um, <laughs> place here the pictures from uh, her trip um, hers and actually my dad's too um, trip to uh, Singapore and in this notebook she could be um, able to uh, to write up some notes and impressions from the trip so uh, this is the photo folio and once again guys I'm sharing this as a video um, in order to let as many people as I can know um, about the I'm Roses Anything Goes Challenge and the awesome prizes that we have uh, to give away so um, the link to the I'm Roses Challenge blog will also be in the description box down below so you want to check that too and the quality of the flowers for those of you who don't know is very high and uh, you can also um, um, find any colors that you need for your project it's not a problem uh, the designs are um, are numerous so you definitely are going to love uh, the flowers from I'm Roses I hope you enjoyed this project and you will check the a tutorial from Mariko as well um, and thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye